Thank you for your interest in our MedNovus Safe Scan Target Scanner. This is the most cost effective ferromagnetic detection system. The Safe Scan Target Scanner has an on off switch on one side, which is now being demonstrated. When the instrument is activated, it goes through a cycle. And in that cycle, you'll hear a change in the audio signal. It is now ready for ferromagnetic detection. A volume switch is located on the opposite side, and there are two volume settings. There's a 6 dB deferential between these two settings, and the setting is really based on the personal preference of that MRI center. The SafeScan target scanner is intended to find superficial ferromagnetic threats. The range of the target scanner for small threats is a half an inch. For larger threats would be an inch or so. The scanning zone is the elevated red area on either side of the target scanner. And you can use either side because the instrument is symmetrical. It is this elevated red zone that should be placed as close as possible to a potential ferromagnetic threat object. Next, we will show a demonstration of ferromagnetic detection with the safe scan target scanner. For instance, here is a nail clipper. And the proper way to use the target scanner is to have it moving relative to the threat object. Next, we will show the safe scan target scanner detecting on a pocket knife. And now on a paper clip. Now the safe scan target scanner is being used to detect a single staple. In several demonstrations, Dr. Emanuel Canal has demonstrated that a single staple can be found. The effective range of the target scanner for finding such a tiny ferromagnetic threat is approximately one half inch. Dr. Emanuel Canal recommends rubbing the target scanner directly on the patient. However, if it's an area of privacy, you can certainly scan right over the patient's hand. To use the target scanner effectively, it, it is used by scanning in small circles getting very close to a possible threat. In this instance, what is found is a bobby pin. For sensitive areas where privacy becomes an issue, the target scanner is easily used simply by scanning over the patient's hand. In this instance, a bobby pin is detected. The critical aspect of using the target scanner is to get it very close to your subject and move in very small circles. The target scanner is intended for screening patients and staff members for objects being carried into the MRI suite, thus intercepting them before they can wreak havoc in the MRI environment. The target scanner is used after the patient has been medically cleared to enter the huge field of the MRI. The target scanner is not a substitute for conscientious medical screening. What you do is you do your standard medical screening protocol, then use the target scanner as a second line of defense. An effective way to use a safe scan target scanner is to begin with the patient seated, then scan the hair area looking for bobby pins and other possible ferromagnetic threat objects, getting very close. And here a bobby pin has been found. Remove the bobby pin and then rescan the area. Now, with the patient still seated, go directly to the feed area, looking for ankle magnets or an ankle bracelet. Here, a ferromagnetic threat has been identified and is removed. After removal, rescan the foot area. After the patient's feet are screened, have the patient stand and scan the pocket areas, keeping the target scanner moving in small circles 
and getting close. Here, a ferromagnetic threat has been identified and removed. Rescan the area to make sure that there are no residual ferromagnetic threats present. The patient can now have the back pocket screen. Generally speaking, if the patient has a bra clip, it will be detected. It is a privilege having Mary for a patient, and we appreciate very much the benefits of the target scanner. Here we have a Canadian coin, which is ferromagnetic. U.S. currency is generally not ferromagnetic, by the way. And it is not problematic to scan the chest area for five to ten seconds. But when you do this, do it after you've already cleared the patient to enter the huge field of the MRI magnet. The field of the SafeScan target scanner is non-radiating. It is completely passive. It will not affect imaging quality in any way. Neither will it erase credit cards. For safety purposes, since the SafeScan target scanner does have ferromagnetic components, it is tethered for safety. The operation of the target scanner is entirely in DC mode using a 12 volt AC DC step down transformer which should be tethered to the socket. Here we are at New York Presbyterian Hospital where the target scanner is mounted before the magnet room. New York Presbyterian has 14 target scanners by the way and Dr. Emmanuel Canal at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center has 20 target scanners. The proper way of mounting the target scanner is with its cord hanging downward. Also notice the user instruction guide which is taped next to the target scanner. This is very helpful especially if you have a new employee. The user instruction guide shows not only the cautions but also how to use the target scanner properly. The target scanner has three cautions. Number one, since it does have ferromagnetic components, it should not be taken into the magnet room. It is therefore tethered with an AC-DC step-down transformer. Caution number two, as the target scanner is not sensitive enough to find tiny intraocular foreign particles, it is best not to use it around the eye area. Caution number three, it is not problematic to use the target scanner with pacemakers or other biostimulation devices. As it does have a small DC non-radiating field, however, it is a good idea not to place the target scanner on the chest for truly prolonged periods of time, five to ten seconds when scanning is not a problem. Please call us at any time if you have any questions or concerns, as we are always at your service. Thank you very much for allowing us to provide this information to you. It is a privilege serving your MR safety requirements.